guys. I'm headed to the airport. Started another journey. I'm leaving the sunny streets of Athens and heading somewhere much, much colder. First, to the airport. Huh? I'm making a vlog, yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> say, uh, welcome to Athens. Yeah, I'm Greek. Oh, you're Greek, okay. How do you say, um, good luck, goodbye? <laughs> okay, Ephedisto. What? <sighs> See, you might think I'm crazy. I'm leaving the sunshine, the friendly people, the low cost of living, the cheap food, and I'm going back to Ukraine. But that's where my home is, that's where my heart is. And it's gonna be a long journey starting right now. All right, here's the bus to the airport. So five euros, 50 cents. very very cold Romania which I have to go through on my way back to Ukraine 710 to Romania I'm not sure which gate I am but I guess if they let me through they let me through I think I'm supposed to go through actually gate A that's why it didn't work it's good let's go check it out Another good reminder to never ever use their their currency because I've been charged almost 10%. How insane would that be? I'd be paying an extra oh my god, I'd be paying an extra hundred dollars. Fuck that. That is a ripoff. And they want me to do it again without conversion, with conversion, without conversion. Except this option. Alpha Bank is a, such a ripoff. 250? Yeah, that's fine. Guys, this is such a pro tip if you travel. Never ever accept the currency conversion because that would have been a $50 mistake if I clicked the wrong button. So be really careful with that. All right, here we are. Hopefully, we can get through this side. All right, guys, I made it through uh, border control and security, and I was a bit worried because they, the guy, the border control guy, spent a long time checking my stamps after he scanned it. And I thought, oh my God, did I go over my 90 days in the Schengen zone? Because I'm pretty close and it's really hard to count. So let's just say I was a bit stressed out. He also looked really stressed out, but pissed. And I think it was because he couldn't find the stamp of when I came in. And he was just trying to locate it so he can stamp me out. It had nothing to do with counting the days. <sighs> but since we have some time, let's go to the business lounge. <laughs> By the way, I just logged in to the airport Wi-Fi and it was a bit annoying. You have to go through all these different steps and you only get, it only works for 60 minutes at a time. And it has a bunch of restrictions, including on YouTube. I think, I remember I was somewhere where on the airport Wi-Fi, you couldn't just read or reply to comments on YouTube because it was a profanity filter or subject matter filter or something really strange. Even in the business lounge. Boss Business Lounge. So a huge benefit of traveling carry-on only is being able to use business lounges hours before and kind of using it as like a co-working space to chill out, 
get to the airport early and not rush. I think I can use this one. Sky serve. Yes, us. Oh, what's nice. All right, I'm super happy. Uh, shout out to my buddy David Vu for always hooking me up with the priority pass through his credit card. If you guys ever wondered how I get access to this all the time. All right, let's see what they got. Some cold sandwiches. They're looking okay. But these pots indicate that hot food as well, which is always good. And of course, some kind of a free bar as well. The logo of the Jameson though. Oh, some Greek breads. And that's what they have. Some rice. Chicken, that looks good actually, with some spinach. And veal, that's good. Nice setup. I almost forgot to show the bottom where we have the drinks. All right, I decided to have a nice full lunch. Huge salad, some couscous, a little wrap. This beautiful salad with figs. And then rice with chicken, some of this uh, spinach pie, and some meat. This is going to be hanging out in the next few hours. So the huge benefit of traveling here and only, it's not having to wait for the gate to open two and a half hours or two hours before the flight. So now it's 3.30, which means I have three and a half hours to just chill, eat, do some work, and just really relax now that I know I'm here. It's been a few hours. On the starting to get a little bit more full. But this is definitely one of the nicest lounges I've been to, as design-wise. The only really strange thing is this is the only lounge I've ever been to that doesn't have a bathroom. I have to go outside and downstairs. A lot of lounges even have showers. Luckily, I don't need one. All right, it's time to move and have a little dessert while sitting here. <laughs> so, guys, one thing I'm super shocked about is how cheap this water was. Think back. What is the cheapest bottle of water you've bought in an airport, in an international airport, in the last 10 years or last 20 years? So these are all between three and seven dollars. But the ones down here, 60 cents or one euro. One euro, guys. That is incredible. I think. Greece has like a law against overcharging for water or it like just pisses people off because every restaurant you go to in Athens, it's 50 cents a bottle of water. And you can see the tap water too. So that's one really amazing thing about, about Greece that I love. I'll enjoy this. Normally I just take a bottle from here, but these are all giant like one and a half liters. So. I figured I'd go downstairs and get a little small one. Anyways, it's time to go. All right, it looks like get A3, Bucharest. Bye-bye. 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 All right, back to normal life with me, gates A3. I save myself at least 13 euros by eating upstairs in the lounge. Oh, so what books they have. I don't know why I'm surprised, but they're all in Greek. All right, to the gates. I would say the number one reason why 
I really like using the business class lounge, even though I do give my friend, I think it's, I think I give him $150 a year or something for it. Uh, and he pays like 500 a year for his credit card. It's just to have some peace and quiet and somewhere where I don't have to worry about pay, like overpaying for expensive uh, airport food or drinks. And just knowing that everything's kind of nice, everything's free. It's kind of like a nice treat. Like you would get with Fly Business Class without buying a business class ticket. There is gate 83. I think it's a bit early still. Gate open. And look also on the walls. Here we go. Okay, hey, Bucharest? Is, is Bucharest? Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet? Sir, okay. I need to check that bag. All right. They are making me check in my bag, uh, but it is included. Have lithium batteries inside? No, no. And no okay. Here, okay. and uh, my colleague will come and pick them up. Okay, I heard a stop. So they're saying that this flight from Athens to Bucharest, Bucharest is super full. So they're checking in everybody's bags, even like pretty small rolling ones. So mine definitely had a pass. Luckily, it's without charge. And I got to use the lounge early. All right, in on the plane, passing two F. So guys, I know the last time I went from Romania on the overnight train to Madova, which I vowed never to do again. <laughs> because it was so hot. Now it's winter actually, so it would probably be freezing. The opposite. But either way, this is a transfer, so Actually, I have an hour and a half to kill, and then I'll be flying to Kishinev. But I don't see a transfer station, just arrivals, and I need to be on that side. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens. I am glad that they made me check that bag, so I'm going to carry it. So now I have basically almost nothing in my bag. Oh, at least there's a transfer desk. All right, as you can see, we made it through. Not too difficult. And looks like the check-in is already open, but everyone's kind of sitting around. So let's go explore. If the lounge isn't too far and I have access, that would be perfect. Let's see if we can get there. So my lay over here is just down half, and I think I've already used up an hour, half an hour of it, just getting through security again, getting through uh, a little immigration check again. But I think it's probably a small airport. I have no idea. 
It is funny to see a casino here though, those shot machines. I haven't seen this besides uh, in Vegas. Is this? Oh, by the way, good news is as soon as we landed, actually even before the plane even touched the ground, my uh, 4G worked. So the eSIM works, guys. It was so nice being able to use uh, internet while on the plane waiting for everyone to, to get off, even though I was in the front. But like when you're in the back, instead of just standing and kind of being rushed, you can just start checking your Instagram. And here at the airport, I didn't even try logging into the uh, airport Wi-Fi yet because I can just use my data plan. That's not gonna work. All right, well guys, Romania doesn't have party pass for whatever reason. They said that they had it before, but a couple years ago, they party pass decided to cancel their contract for who knows what reason. So that's a tip, guys. If you want to uh, fly out of Anywhere in Romania, Bucharest, uh, don't count on these amount. It's okay. I didn't actually have that much time, anyways, but it would have been nice. Guys, <clears throat> you, will, you would not believe this. There is no Wi Fi in Bucharest Airport, the capital of Romania. There's no Wi Fi. How insane is that? I'm so happy I had the SIM card. Zero. No Wi-Fi at all. How insane is that? 2022. Alright, that was it. It was pretty easy. I, can't, I still can't believe there's no Wi-Fi in Bucharest Airport. I've, I don't think I've ever been to an airport in the last 20 years that didn't have a public Wi-Fi network. I mean, maybe one of the restaurants had it, but that's insane. No priority pass lounge at all. Uh, which isn't that big of a deal for most people, I understand. But not even Wi-Fi, it's insane. I am in not one of these nice seats, it's only an hour. I'm in this one, 5A. Hey, Got another chicken early port. Depends cold guys. It is cold and rainy in Chisinau. Cold and wet. Nice. Guys, welcome to Madova probably the easiest passport control I've ever been to anywhere in my world, <laughs> anywhere. Like literally it took two seconds to ask me anything. Just like, oh yeah, you wanna be to come to Madova? Go ahead. So, and it's a, such a short walk. The only problem is the bags aren't ready yet. All right, and the bags started coming out super fast. Like literally, I just had time to use the restroom. It's already out. So while waiting for my bag, decided to log in for Wi-Fi. Super easy, no BS forms or hour limits. You just log in to open network and it's decently fast as well. It's like eight up and down, which is deep, perfectly fine for airport. <laughs> and there's my bag. Moldova is awesome. Way better than the Romanian airport. Easy.
they did pull me aside of customs to scan my bag, but then it happened to go through or anything, so it took two seconds. Guys, I am in Kishina, Padova. How crazy is this, guys? It's a nice airport, too. Let's see my friends where we at. Oh god, it's cold. Oh my god, it's cold. Yo! What's up? Thanks for getting me. How you doing, man? Welcome back to Ukraine. Yeah. It is freaking cold, guys. I know, right? It's very cold, actually. Is it colder than Bucharest? I just came from Athens. <laughs> it's like sunny. I was wearing a t-shirt earlier. Yeah. Alright. Alright, right, guys. We made it to Madova. I started the day in a t-shirt in the sun. And now we are freezing cold and a puff jacket I'm still cold. So we'll see how Ukraine goes. Hi yeah. Alright. Oh, that's cool. I know, right? I was wondering if yeah, it's I thought we were gonna put it in the trunk. It's squeaky right now because it's been in the rain. Okay. And... We'll get you some WD-40 for that. Yeah, I should actually, but didn't get a chance to buy it. And the remote's gone as well. It broke in. Okay. In Ukraine. That's crazy. I know I had hot wires. Wow. So this broke in Ukraine, uh -huh. and I no longer have a remote for it. But it so works. I just found a temporary fix for it. Not ideal, but it works. That's so That's cool, so. man. Nothing stops you. There's always a way around things. Yeah. This is mine. Yeah, I love it. So for all you bitch asses who have excuses why you can't travel, <laughs> listen to this guy. <laughs> I drove all the way from the UK, right? From England? Yeah. So when when I drove to, to Ukraine for the first time, mm -hmm. it was back in September 2022. And I drove from from the UK in one trip. Wow. And people are, you know, hesitant to book flights. Yeah. And I drove all the way, you know. Wow. No excuses, like you said. No excuses. I love it. <laughs> Guys, we made it. Not to the Hotel Bristol though, but to the Hostel City Center. All right, thanks again. Have a good night. See ya. We made it, guys. Got the Okay, thank you very much. Yes.